probably hear him. Give me the microphone and my. And hear the story in the background? Okay. <laughs> so now we've got another one, same kind of idea. Find the explicit equation, then state the domain. The reason this one's here is because we have a square root involved. So when we're looking at this, g of f of x, well, first of all, f of x is the square root of x. And then if we plug that into g of x, g of x squares everything you put in and subtracts 4. So this will be the square root of x squared subtract 4. Now what happens when you square a square root? It cancels out. So we just get x minus 4. So based on the final solution, the domain appears to be everything, right? But if we look back to the original equation, originally the domain had to be bigger than or equal to 0. So our domain here, x has to be bigger than or equal to 0. In part b, g of x is x squared minus 4. And then plugging that into f of x, that will be the square root of x squared minus 4. Can you simplify that? Can I get rid of the, the squared on the x? Can I get rid of the, make, just make it x minus 2? No? So the only thing a square root cancels is if the whole thing is squared. So if you had x minus 2 squared inside of a square root, then they could simplify to x minus 2. But what's inside here is x plus 2 times x minus 2. It's not a perfect square. So we can't simplify this any further. And if we're trying to think, when is this possible? Well, we need the inside, OK? Algebraically, you need the inside to be bigger than or equal to 0, right? How do we solve that? Well, we make it. We figure out when it is equal to 0 at x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. Draw your number line and find out where it's true and where it's false. In this case, it's true here, false in between, and true there. So the domain is x is less than or equal to negative 2, or x is bigger than or equal to 2. The other way you could figure out the domain of this is graphically. If you had to graph the square root of x squared minus 4, you would graph the inside first. That's x squared minus 4. How do you graph the square root of any function? You find out where it's equal to 0, where it's equal to 1, and it would look like that. What is the domain of that black graph? It's when x is less than or equal to negative 2, and when x is bigger than or equal to 2. I said 6 already, I'll just write it down again. You can do the rest of 6 and question number 10.